So in here, you have two metals featured, zinc and copper. Okay. So what happens in this electrochemical cell? Okay. Although you have the two metals here, you will also have what you call as uh, a solution of zinc in the form of zinc sulfate and a solution of copper in the form of copper sulfate. That's why it's bluish. That is the characteristic color of copper sulfate. Trademark yun na sa copper sulfate, okay? So what happens here? Uh, if ever you, you attach this electrochemical cell to, okay, to let's say a light bulb, or to any consumer that I have said, then the reaction will start, okay? The reaction will commence. So during the reaction, what happens, okay? The solution will actually uh, consume the zinc metal and the production of zinc sulfate will be increased, okay? So the sulfates from the copper sulfate will also move towards okay, siya, kanang, uh, acidic. So what will result? We have the zinc sulfate and the copper sulfate. And then, especially if, if the acid that you add is sulfuric acid. So electrons will actually move away from zinc. That is why it will it it will exhibit what you call as the oxidation reaction of uh, zinc, guys. Okay, and then uh, since. Since you have here uh, the oxidation of zinc, then of course you will have, it's not oxidation, but uh, reduction, reaction, reduction, reaction of, instead of zinc, you will have copper. Okay, guys. So this zinc will, will exhibit oxidation reaction and copper will exhibit reduction. Meaning to say, in the process, in the process because oxidation is a natural process in here, zinc from a very, from a large plate like this, it will be uh, lessened, it will be eaten by the solution it will be converted into zinc sulfate until until uh, you have a very little that uh, that can function in the reaction. Now, if there is uh, an, if all of this zinc metal is consumed, then there will be no more re reaction. There will be no more energy that will be supplied. So, what would be the effect to your copper? Copper will grow in size. Zinc will uh, decrease in size. Copper will grow in size. Okay, guys. So in the re oxidation reaction of your zinc, that should be Zn. Okay. When you say reduction, okay. It becomes, it becomes reduced. Ang charge niya. Diba guys? Hamay dako, zero o positive to? <laughs> Ma-increase ang iya hang charge. Right? That is oxidation. Ma-increase ang iyang charge. And of course, the re, sa reduction, ma decrease ang iyahang charge
Okay, so where will be the electrons here? It should be plus two electrons. Guys, so the positive charge added with the positive two charge added with two negative charges by the electrons, that becomes, that becomes neutral, neutralized. So zero here is equal now to zero. In the case of the reduction of copper, okay, you will have What happens? Check your check your one, huh? You check your where is that one? Wait, huh? <clears throat> Can you find your reaction there, guys? Uh, yes, what is your reaction be? Let me see. Copper plus two, then plus two E, then we must see you. Copper quant. Wait, I cannot. Wait, ha. What happens here? Again, Miss Copper two two two, two plus positive or two plus plus two e two electrons. Okay, we'll have copper copper copper. 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 You see this? Huh? Okay, copper zero and zinc zero. Okay, these are metals, guys. Metals basta zero, kanang neutral. Pero when you see that the, the, the element is charged, it's not in the metallic state. Sabot mo sa metallic state? Huh? Kan na bang? Do we have Solid a state. Let us say this one. This is, this is your coin. This is a metal. Sa ito pa, ang charge niya is zero. You understand? When this one is dissolved in, let us say, acid, dissolved in a solution, and it has been in a solution already, nawagtang ang, nawagtang ang metal, solution na lang, na-dissolved na siya, na-reacted, it has already changed to positive, zinc positive too. Same is true with your copper. If it's in the metal plate pagani, like this on your cell, then that is copper zero. If it is now in the solution, you see this blue solution, that is ion already, ionized. It's in the copper two state. Okay. Hello. Hello. Are we all good? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Time check is... Yes, ma'am. Medyo lag lang dito ako ma'am. Uh, sige. sige. Sige lang. Follow up lang dito mo. Study ani ha. Ato sa nitan aoning. Sorry, miss. Na ay sam... Ah, ako na din ay gibasa ganiha. Okay. Sige lang. Bear with your... You bear with your uh, concerns, okay? Oh, di gani makaya. Ask for help, okay? Ang sa naman ni. Okay, so let's have it. 
Okay. Dako-dakoan ni na ako. Okay. So, look at this reaction, oxidation. It has released two electrons. This is what you call as this is what you call as the loss of loss huh, of electrons. Okay? So, it is losing two electrons. Pero, reduction gani. Uh, it's so you might be confused. Reduction onya ang ang kuaniya ang uh, the key process there is the gaining of electrons. The gain of electrons. So unsa man naka opposite? Okay, reduction di ba ni gamay ang ni reduce ani ang iyang charge from C to C from two Positive 2, it has reduced to 0. Okay? In oxidation, from 0, it has become positively charged. Claro ni guys, ha? Questions? So, it doesn't mean to say nga always gina siya positive 2. Pwede positive 1 depending on the nature of the element. Okay, so we will get to, because there is one student who asked, constant ba kuno ang positive to electrons? No. In fact, if you look at group one, they, they, they prefer to become positively charged, positive one. Kani, group two, positive two, three, four, and then negative, negative one, negative two, uh, negative 3 and this one 0. Why? Because they do not want to get into a chemical reaction. Now, we, uh, we earlier we talked about zinc here. Zinc is na adiha siya. Okay? Copper is na adinhi. Okay? You follow, guys? Nagna may periodic table sa inyong tapad? Nama. Oh, very good, ha? Very good. Okay, this is zinc. And then, kanisha copper. Okay? So, inyo nang pang suwatan din, ha, ha? Now, if you remember the atomic number of your zinc, that is actually 30. Naga ni movie gani gihimo gani ning password. The atomic number of zinc is 30. So you will never forget. Okay? So dire magkuan ko ha mag configuration ta ha. Okay. Start with zinc. Zn. 30 ha. Okay. Yeah. One is two. Yes. Two is two. Okay. Six. Two is two. Then two. Six. Hmm. Is it not any? Two. Two p six. Okay. Go ahead. Here you. Two, three, two. Join the group. Three. Two, three, three, two, 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 Okay, we will have another one here, although po Anisha. Kani, Anisha. 
Copper ni ha, and you know, copper has 29. Okay, akong isot diri ha. Onya, dili siya 3D10. 3D9 na siya. Okay? Now, uh, copper is, diri lang ako ibutang ha, kaya nahinayak naman. 29. Okay. Take note. Okay. Uh, start here. 1 is 1, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P 6, 3 is 2, 3 P 6, and then 4 is 2, 3 D 10. I hope you see my pointer, guys. And for copper, okay, tapad man sila, 3 D 9. Okay. So what happens here? Okay. So what happens here? Instead of, uh, this is based on observations, on experiments. Huh? So instead of, okay. Um, you have 3D10 and then um, Sorry. 4s2 4s2 okay now on the case of on the case of uh, copper okay here okay instead of 3d9 4s2 mag 3d10 siya 4s this is based on experiments, guys, ha? Huh? What is going on here? Okay. Okay. So, mauna ang iyahang configuration. Okay? So, instead, nga 4S2, 3D10, uh, mobilis siya. Wait, ha, wait. Namirado sa kong bintana, guys, ha, kay puso kayong uwan. Anyway, we will be ending soon. Okay, so, based on mga x-rays, mga infrared, mga uh expositions it is shown that uh instead nga monya configuration 3d 4s2 3d10 mo 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 kuan siya mo prefer siya 3d10 4s2 and this is the this is why uh the zinc prefers to release the two electrons and zinc is more comfortable on the uh, zinc plus two, Zn plus two state, and also in the case of copper, that is why copper can exist either on a Cu plus one and a Cu plus two. That is why we have substances uh, nga zinc, uh, copper sulfide coprosulfide and cupric sulfide copper cupric oxide and cuprous oxide because uh, copper has the ability to um uh, to be stable at cu plus one or cu plus two as compared to zinc preferred good yang z n plus two because by virtue of their configuration Okay, guys, now, uh, if you look at group 1, positive 1 gina sila, di walay lalis, group 2, positive 2. And the other, koansa, they have a distinct uh, preferred stability states. Question, guys? Okay, sige. Padayon ta, ha? Now, 
Okay. In here, okay. Uh, actually, we have I have presented here two two tables. Okay, dili lang tas pikas. Okay. Ang ang gingan ani nila is galvanic series of metals in seawater. Uh, this is typically on the uh, uh, in the discussion of corrosion. However, dili lang sa tamag touch ana karira o sa atong electrochemical cells, guys. Okay? Concentrate on this one. Okay, look at this table. Uh, um, take away the corrosion concept yet. Okay? From this table, bali ni siya sa katong electromotive series nga akong giingon. Okay? Okay? Um, you, it's only a table here, and we have the term anodic or active, and then we have uh, cathodic. Okay, so, uh, so if you relate it to the ele electromotive series, they have other elements there. Can you go? This is focused on the metals only. In that electromotive series, you also have other elements not have elements other than the metals so i would suggest that you study that table also hand in hand with this one okay what can you get out of this table okay let us say for example pangita on in you ang zinc here is zinc you see that guys and here is copper because copper is being copper and zinc, they are being paired in this uh, production of electrical energy in the electrochemical cell. Okay, so notice. Okay, in other words, if these two metals are being paired in the uh, formation of electrochemical cell, the one with the lower uh, the one with the lower electron uh, volt value actually prefers to be uh, corroded, prefers to oxidize. Okay? And the one with the higher uh, electron volt value prefers to be reduced. Okay, that is really, uh, that is really the case. Ah, ox lang ha para masabtan. Okay, um, that is really the requirement if you need to have an electrochemical cell so that you will have energy from uh, this cell. Okay, so do na jukay duha ka metals diha. And of course, you should take note that one, okay, they have different values in terms of uh, electron volts here because it actually gives you the, the oxidation values, okay? So what do these values mean, okay? So in other words, uh, that of the zinc is lower than uh, that of copper, right? In other words, between these two, uh, zinc is more reactive than copper. When they are placed, when they are immersed in a, the same uh, environment. So instead that uh, copper will also oxidize when it is being paired with zinc, copper will reduce, meaning to say, Copper will prefer the reduction reaction. Claro, guys? Hello? Questions? Nasabtan ra? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma now, look at the table again. Okay. Copper is here. If it is being paired with... Let us say, 
lead. Are you familiar with lead? Okay. Let's say titanium. Sige. Uh, let us say you, copper is being compared with, is being uh, paired with titanium. Okay. Copper din he, titanium din rin. Asa man mo padulong ang imong electrons? Notice, titanium ma. Okay, notice the movement of electrons towards your copper. Okay? So if instead of zinc, this is being paired with titanium, mo balis siya, padulong siya dito ha? Okay, here is... Uh, there must be your salt bridge, either potassium nitrate or ammonium nitrate. That's to stabilize after it doesn't interfere with your uh, reactions there. Okay, so claro ha? If your copper is paired with somebody or something that is above it, then this is, uh, this, it functions as... Uh, it chooses reduction. So in this case, if zinc is paired with magnesium, zinc will never be consumed. It is magnesium that will be consumed. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Gamhanan ka ayon ni nga table. Ha? Soon, so ma, so ba yun yun na siya? Dili man siya pwede nga. Case to case basis, ha? Ama ingon ka nga. Kanang copper. Ikaw zinc, ikaw lang usay pagkahurot di ha. Ako na sa sunod. <laughs> Dili man na siya ingon ana. When these two are paired, it should be the zinc that will be consumed. Protected jud ang copper. It is the zinc that will be consumed. Okay. So notice in here the same. This this table is just uh, it gives you the same idea as as this one actually. Must elaborate lang ni na values. Pero pareho ragi hapon. Notice. Okay, as I have said, ayaw sa nang term nga corrosive ha. Balik kung rin na to nga table. If we would be talking already about corrosion. Of metals. Okay. Now notice, the same na ni siya, kung tanaw ni mo, the more reactive, okay, going up, more reactive, the going down, we have the, the least reactive. In fact, gold is here, silver and gold. Okay. It has, all, it has been proven and tested that gold is unreactive, guys. Diba? Mag-arius man mo. Ah, mag, mag, mga lahas man mo, guys. Diba? You wear gold because gold is, will not be tarnished. It is unreactive. That's the point there. Why? Gold is utilized in your jewelries. Okay? Now, let us say, ang imuhang necklace is made of magnesium. What will happen? Mutarnisium. Dali era mo. Kaya on mo. Siga. Kaya on siya, ma'am. Dali era mo. Siga. Okay. O na siya nga. May ngani mo, mama. Asa naman ang imuhang kwintas? Okay. Gikawat, gisnatch, on sa? <laughs> ha? Mawagtang, mahurot nga siya. It will react with water in your skin, water in the atmosphere because it is highly reactive. Do you understand this, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, going back to this concept, uh, we cannot help kuan ramanggod sila, related ramanggod na sila. Okay. If look, you look at this one, uh, zinc gets corroded. The concept here is for you to produce energy. And further, if you move on to your study, okay, nakabutang manggod na diha. Susceptible to corrosive attack. Okay? 
So the metals are also used to protect the other metals. That is why in here it says cathodic or noble, anodic or active. Meaning to say, balik ta diri sa imuhang cell, okay? Zinc becomes the anode and copper is now the cathode, okay? So in the protection of metals, which we will talk later uh, when we reach to corrosion, okay, if your superstructure is made of platinum, <laughs> my building are made of platinum. Dato na jun siguro kaayo na no, na made of gold. Sakin na naman, sakin na naman. Uh -huh. Expensive na kaayo. Okay, let us say, kani imong uh, barko. Made of what? Ang iyahang hull. Kani iyahang, kani ba? Kani, 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 kani. Made of unsa man is siya. Copper, magnesium, zinc. What do you know about it? Stainless. Oh. Stainless what? Aluminum. Aluminum? Bar Aluminum? <laughs> stainless steel. Oh. Uh, stainless steel. Oh, Naadiri ha? Stainless steel. Okay. Unsa man ang stainless steel? Copper, magnesium, zinc. Hello. Zinc, mom. <laughs> Another try. Okay, lah. Don't, 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 don't get offended. Ako makatawa ko. Okay, na. Another try. Yes. Kamu ha ka. Ilang magit mo stainless steel good. Pero Nes kuchara mo. Okay. Wala. What metal nga naadiri? Ang ipasabot ko. At iron. Atong isgutan na naadiri, ha? Iron. Yes. Very good. Iron gani? Iron is dili copper. Kamu ba? Naan na gining lagi ko ano? Periodic table. Nag-isgut yung tag-elements, di ba? Diin nyo na nang balik o review, gimemorize din nyo. <laughs> Sige ha, balik kong tog. O kayon, jod ang periodic table ha. Okay. So, on sa ka ito? Walay stainless steel diri guys, right? Pero metal na siya. Because stainless steel is basically, sama ni, Iron, ha? Oh, iron. Yan to, ang iron, uh, dali siya, dali siya tayaon. And with the advent of technology, gihimo na siya ni, gihimo ng alloys. You see the, a lot of words, diri alloy, alloy. Ha? Huh? Okay, we will talk about this alloys and practices, alloying practices later when we get to the engineering materials later, ha? Huh? So iron, that has been added with carbon. Diba? Kaya mahimo mo na siyang liquid at tos kayo, diba? Mauna na siya ang giingon nga. Stainless steel. Okay? So mga 98% ni siya 90, 98 to 99% ang iron, 1% or 2% ang carbon. We will understand ganong ni silang mahimo ni siyang stainless steel. Okay? Now take note guys, stainless steel is the gold standard in terms of uh, when you talk about the strength and durability of superstructures just like the ships, 
the the major carriers that you have there the tankers and also the the buildings that we have the skyscrapers nagpila na ng stories karon mga guys ang usa ka building tallest buildings pila ka stories so uh, hundred floor <laughs> tagas na kaayom no so if the metal involved there is not very very stable or at least to kuno ngan si ko a norwin so if if you have buildings the sky skyscrapers at si tag as ka ay nang imong skyscrapers so they must be very uh, reliable kay maglinog unya let's say let's get back to this koan let's get back to the ship that i have koan drawn in here okay now since uh there is this 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 billion dollar investment guys okay then by all means the owner of the ship will have to protect this and the one way to protect this is by what you call as the cathodic protection that we have here pero ato paning discussan og detalye ini ka sunod pang mga semana ha and the way to protect this is by placing the most preferred plates is you have the zinc anodes okay kay ngano man mo form ang ginda siya og electrochemical cell diha kay na may water okay so the water is would serve as a medium for the electrons. Ang electron mamili maglami. May na ay, sus, ako ni buslutan di rin napita kay lami ni para nako. So, destroyed na ang barko, di ba? So, instead, ilang pakanon ang electrons daan o mas lami. Uh, sige, kaniin nyo ha, ha, mas lami ni para ninyo. Okay, these are what you call as zinc, anodes okay mas lami na para sa electrons and then install na siya i, i welding na diha after some months or years i check ni nila kung naa pa ni o wala na gani o ang uban na pa ilisan na ilisan do you understand guys so in that way Unong sa electrons, kanina lang mga plates. Questions? Hello, questions? Okay. So, kanya na ta maghisgot aning protection later, ha? Inig ka kuan, ha? Inig uh, maatuta sa next na mga mga topics maybe after the midterm i'm not i'm just not sure because uh from here after our quiz on this topic we will have sa ganito ani uh the few wells okay it's important that you should have the few wells pero kani mga nuclear power inyo na na siyang studyhan ha Anyway, they are already discouraged nowadays because of protection of the environment. Okay, so no more problem with this one. Nakasabot na ani, nakasabot na oxidation, nakasabot na re reduction. Okay, you can also relate to this table. Uh, take note of your electromotive series. Then you study this one. Okay. Nah. Oh, you also study your periodic table. Okay, guys. Screenshot now. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Okay, you may take a screenshot there. Five, four, three, two, one.
Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you may include that. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Nabiyan na sa imo hang syllabus. You can check that. Ako lang nang gi gi crap. Five, four, two, one. Okay. You also practice with the other elements, huh? the neighboring elements, guys. Huh? Okay. Awala na. Sige, 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 sige. I will take your attendance now. Any question? Kaya akong stop, stop presenting, guys. Nakasabot mo? Ano mo yung nasabtan, Ron? Yes, ma'am. Basta maminaw, no. Nothing is difficult here. 